Hi everyone and welcome to section 5, which will be about uh, bit manipulations and recursion and dynamic programming. As always, before diving into details, I would like to provide you a brief introduction here. So, in this section we're going to review two large topics. One of them will be about binary numbers and all that's related to it. And the next uh, big one will be about recursion and dynamic programming. We already met recursion in previous videos and used it a lot in section dedicated to searching and sorting. But now we're going to review this approach in thoroughly and to review its pros and cons and also to know about how the recursive approach can be optimized and what is this optimization method, which is called dynamic programming. Now we're going to talk about binary numbers and binary logic. So what is binary number? Well, a binary number is a number which is expressed in the binary numerals, which uh, uses basically two symbols, zero and one. Why is that uh, system was chosen? Well, it's because uh, computers naturally work with uh, such numbers. Internally, they store the information in cells which has two states, on or off. So a binary numeral system uh, goes pretty much slick here. Binary numbers look like this. So it's a sequence of zeros and ones. The very first gets multiplied to power zero and so on and so forth. So we will review these examples later in code. But now it's just like our decimal system, but only it has a base two instead of base 10. Okay, so now let's talk about basic terms. One digit in a binary number is called bit. And bit is a small unit of information. It's like can carry only one flag, only one state, zero or one. Another unit of information is called byte. And byte most commonly contains eight bits, but it can be different on some exotic computer architectures. But what is more important is a smallest addressable unit of memory. Historically, it is a number of bits which were used to encode a single character of text. So, now when we know about bytes and bits, we also would like uh, to uh, dig into binary logic here. So, what is binary logic? Well, we can take those values, which is 1 or 0. Those values could also be interpret it as true and false and we can apply some uh, different functions to those values which shown us to be uh, logic operators so there are four operators here and or exclusive or, or xor unary operator not or negation we will see them in code as well so how AND operation uh, works? Well, it uh, has uh, three branches. One of them is if the left and the right value is true or one, then the result is one. Then if the left value is zero and the right value is one or vice versa, then the result will be zero. And also for two zeros, the result is also zero. So if we take a binary number and apply this AND operator to them, how it would work? We take uh, bit by bit and apply the, this operator to those bits. And the result will be is following. So let's see, we get the first bits. It is a one and one. So result of 1 and 1 is 1. Now we go to next uh, cells and now we have 0 and 0. And result of end operation is 0. 
and so on and so forth. So here we have 0 for 1 and 0 and for 0 and 1. And the result is also 0. So the result of uh, the first number and the second number will be simply 1 in this example. Now OR operation. It's slightly different from AND, so it also gives us 1 for two true values. But uh, if we do 0 or 1, then we have the result 1. And if we do the same with those numbers, but using OR operation, when we will get a different result, for those two ones, the result will be 1, for two zeros, it will be 0. But now for 0 and 1s, the result will be a 1. And the resulting number is very different. We also have an exclusive or XOR operation. And it's different in the way that 1 XOR 1 equals 0. And this makes operation unique. And also we'll get a different result here. And last but not least, they have this negation or NOT operation. It's applied to a single value, and what it does, it toggles all bits inside this number. So where there was ones, there will be zeros, and vice versa. So value one, the result will be zero for the zero one, and so on and so forth. So it toggles the bits uh, inside the binary number. Okay, so the next important thing is that the number can be negative, so to have a sign. And if number is sign, in C sharp the sign is represented by the highest bit value. If it's set to 1, then the number is negative. And also these uh, negative numbers are stored in a special form which makes uh, mathematical operations easier. I will show you uh, in the, uh, this in the code after a while. So this is important also because two bitwise operators, left shift and right shift. As you can see from their names, we can take numbers bits and basically shift them to the right or to the left, but following certain rules. If the number is negative, the right shift operation will set the highest bit to one. But if number is positive or unsigned, the highest bit will, will be set to zero. Okay, so let's see the left shift operation. This form of writing the binary numbers appropriate for C sharp 7.3 or the later versions. So in case your compiler does not understand this uh, format, please uh, look for the instruction how to enable the latest C sharp version in your project. Okay, so um, basically this format is like we are having this 0b prefix which says that our number is binary number and also the underscore can help to separate a block of bits and make this uh, number more readable. Okay, so let's try to do left shift operation on this sample uh, number 0101. So the right one it means that how many how many times we would like to shift our number so for how many bits we would like to shift our number to the left here all operation is shifting the number by one bit and the first result will be falling so if we're shifting this 0101 then it goes like this so we take every bit and move it to the left and then we use zero for the most right bit. And we can repeat this operation. So now it will be uh, 0100 zero, zero, and then it will be 1000. Zero, zero, zero. And if we proceed, it will be just zero for us. Okay, so let's see the right shift. The right shift will go opposite direction. And uh, if we see this example, now we go to the right and the more uh, the highest bit is set to zero because we had this positive number. The highest bit wasn't uh, set. 
and uh, so on and so forth. So if we continue to shift to the right, we'll get just a zero value here. Now let's review a negative number where we have the highest bit set. So if we go and shift our number to the right, then we will have the zero in the highest bit. And then we will eventually have this value is uh, one, 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 one. Main difference between those two cases, positive number and negative number. Case of a positive number, we eventually will get zeros and in case of negative, we will get ones. All right, now let's go to the code and see the C-sharp examples. Okay, so here is our program. First of all, you can see how we write those binary numbers, the prefix 0b here. And um, what's important is I wrote an extension for integers, which allow me to get binary number string and this for means how many leading zeros I would like to have. For example, if my binary number would be just one, then this value would be zero, 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 one. Okay, so this will print out the binary number at the end, its integer representation. And then we go and implement our PowerPoint examples, like those two values will be logically added will be applied and operator here and then uh, here we use or operator this is exclusive or or and here is a not operator then we will see how negative numbers are are stored but before we go to the problem of storing negative numbers i would like to explain a little bit about this tricky code here. So basically it's a demonstration of a not operation, but the problem is that integer is 32 bit number. And if we apply a not to our value, which is 0101, then all the forward bits will be toggled and we will get a 32 bit a number containing mostly zeros and this is not very uh, convenient to see the remaining four digits so what we do here we convert this number to a string and when we get the last four bits of this binary value and this will be totally enough for us in this case because we just uh, toggle all bits and then we get rid of the first 28 bits and we concentrate on only four bits which have uh, meaning for us okay so now to the negative numbers we have a little for loop here when we go from three to minus three here and please notice that it's as byte not an int this is done on purpose to not have 32 bits, which will be confusing. And S byte has only 8 bits and it's also signed, so we will see uh, the negative number storage mechanism. Okay, then after we will see how the negative numbers are stored. Here is another little um, experiment. Here we have the integer value of 1. And then we use a little trick to make it uh, minus one. So after we see how negative number is stored, we can come up with a solution to make any number negative without multiplying it to, to minus one. Instead, we use only uh, logic operations here and addition operation. Okay, and last but not least, we demonstrate shifts different kind of shifts shift left shift right and shift right signed the code could be quite confusing but uh, i did uh, this linear code on purpose i didn't want to create a for loop here because we only uh, print out three values and the code of loop would get 
uh, almost the same size but uh, will be not as clear as this one what uh, is going on here it's uh, again this uh, 32 bits problem and if we're going to shift bits then we will have those 28 bits uh, which we basically do not need so what we do we take only those first four bits and then we convert the number to string and we get this only four bits from the beginning this is okay because we don't need the remaining 28 bits it will only confuse us further so we just slice this part and then we start to, to shift uh, to different directions why we do shift left here well we cannot start with the binary signed int using the first bit enabled because this literal would make this value unsigned int and this trick makes this number to be negative because these bits get shifted to one position to the left and the number uh, becomes negative and then what we do we slice up our first four bits and then we start to shift uh, right and print out the results so basically we shift right one time and second time and third time and we always print results cutting off those bits we don't want to see so this is a test shift right uh, of signed number and we also have the identical code for just test shift right and also test shift left very same code it is different only by which shift do we use okay let's try to run it let me start from here we see that uh, the integer uh, number 11 in binary form looks like this and then we see the results of those logical operations and then we go to uh, how negative numbers are stored and you see that not only the highest bit is set to one but also most other bits are set to ones somehow and the algorithm bit behind this uh, is we need to toggle all bits of the number and add uh, one to the result so here we simulate this uh, storage mechanism and see that it's identical it's needed uh, to make easier addition operation which is uh, very important because it happens very often and need to, to be most efficient as possible okay and here is our shift operations so if we shift left we'll see the results are identical to the one what was demonstrated in powerpoint slides and also we have uh, the same results for shift right and shift right signed